Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto markets. In this video, I'll be showing you how to beat every single level of the Levana Dragon's first minigame, Salem's Adventure. I know a lot of people are having trouble with particular levels, so this is the exact walkthrough that you are looking for. And then I'll be showing you what you get for beating the game. You actually get a Meteor Dust NFT, which you can then use to customize your baby dragon or save it for when you can create items down the road, which will be very useful when the full game does go live for Levana Dragons. And then at the end of the video, we'll be taking a look at the current NFT marketplace to see the prices on these Levana Dragons NFTs. And I'm gonna give you some of my own personal subjective speculation on what I think is gonna happen. So if that does interest you, be sure to stick with me until the very end of this video. Without further ado, let's get right into it and let the games be with you. So Levana Dragons released their first mini game. This is one of two. I'll be showing you the roadmap in a second. But if you want to find out the link of how to get to the mini game, simply come to the Levana Protocol Twitter account. This is their official account. And then their most recent tweet is tweeting about this mini game. You can now play the game if you do use a ledger wallet as well, which is great. And if we look at the roadmap, we can see where we are. So we've done dragon egg nesting here. The browser mini game is what we're going to be showing you how to do right now in this video. And then after that, we have the baby dragon customization. And this is what the, the meteor dust is going to be used for. And then also down the road, when you're crafting your avatars and making items, the dust will be very useful. All right, so we have the dragon customization and then the Discord mini game coming out and then the token airdrop, which is big. So every single task you complete with Levana, if you participated in the meteor shower, cracked an egg, etc., and now you play the mini game, it's all recorded in your wallet and I believe that will impact the amount of tokens you get for the airdrop. So now click on the link on the Twitter account, it's gonna bring you to this page. All right, what you're going to want to do is connect your wallet and then verify your wallet. You do need a Levana Dragons NFT in your wallet to play this game. With that being said, I'm going to be taking you through right now levels 1 through 20, showing you how to beat it. Let me go ahead and make myself a little bit smaller there. And let's get started level 1. So I'm not going to be showing you all my losses. I'm just going to kind of edit those out. But let's just do a little bit of a speed run here. Alright, so that's level one complete. That's level two complete. Level three now complete. Let's go on to level four. Level four complete. Level 
Level five complete. Now level six, a lot of people do have trouble with this level, these balls, bouncy balls. You gotta time this correctly, otherwise you just lose right away. Let's see if I can thread the needle and beat this one first try. I get a little shifty at times, as you can see. Got to be quick on the keys. Get those palms a little bit sweaty. Yeah, first try, not too bad. And one more here. There you go. Level seven complete. All right, so for level eight, you have to be a little bit crafty here. You kind of got to pause, and you just got to time these shots right. There you go. That's the hard part between spiders number one and two. Now you just can't hit the spikes and just time the jumps, and you're good to go. Level eight complete. Let's move on to level nine. This is an easy one. Level nine complete. Let's give level 10 a shot. This one's also pretty easy. Just time your jumps right and you're good to go. It's like playing jump rope with a pixelated character. There you go. A lot of suspense here. It looks like the boulder is gonna hit you, but it won't hit you. Level complete. We are now halfway there. Level 11 now complete. So level 12 can be a little bit tricky, I suppose, with this flying bullet. And level complete. Now level 13. A lot of people have a really hard time with this. I've heard stories where people taking like up to seven hours to beat this level. I simply just time out these spear movements and let it rip. Some people like to take it slower. That's fine. Whatever works, just beat the level. But you got to get a little bit sweaty. Again, your palms are probably going to start perspitating. That's what happens when you try to talk when you're trying to beat the hardest level in the game. All right, that's it. That's really the hardest part. Now what I just do is I look at the floor and I see where the spikes come up and I just move to where the spikes miss every single time. All right, there you go. Now just don't die on the spiders and you beat the hardest level. There you go, level 13 complete. Not too bad. Once you get the timing down, it's, it's a walk in the park. 14, I believe, is pretty easy.
Yeah, very simple level. So we're almost there. We got 15 through 20 and then the, the boss fight. So 15. All right, that's 15 complete. Alright, level 16 complete right there. That one's a little bit tricky, not gonna lie. Now 17 simple, it's just a double jump on these little platforms. Shouldn't trip you up too much. It's pretty forgiving as you can see right there as well. I barely made it. Able to keep on progressing. And level completes. Now we got 18, 19, 20, then our boss fight. And then if you do another run, it's gonna be noticeably, noticeably quicker. That's 18 complete. Now we got 19 and 20. So you got a little, a little bit of a, a juke there. I think I, I lost it. I got it. And that's 19 complete. So this is 20, super easy level. Literally just double jump and kill the spider. As you can see, that's level 20. Easy money right there. Now we're on our boss fight. And this is a pretty easy level as well. I'll show you how to beat it. So first of all, you gotta time this first spider bullet. Now we got the boss right there, that dragon. And you have to hit him on the head five times and you win. So as you can see, it does a little bit of a quick juke there. The easiest way to do it is just wait by this wall over here. All right, he gets a little bit crafty. Oh man. All right, so hit him one, two, three, four. He's gonna come back and we kill him right here for five. There we go, we beat the game. Thank you, Salem, no problem. So, we won, as we can see, you have won the game, but the battle for Mars is just beginning. Follow the Vana Protocol on Twitter, go do that now if you're not already, and we can see rewards given for winning while supplies last. Contests not available in places that don't permit contests. So if we go to the Levana Discord again, and we go to the announcement section, we can see that yesterday, January 24th, one of the mods did say that the first rewards were just minted and sent to the winners of the game. So what I got, was actually a rare meteor dust. So you either got ancient, rare, or common, depending on how you did in the game, how long it took you, how many times you died. That was, I believe, a sub 20 minute run, or just about 20 minutes, so not bad. So as you can see, this rare, or this, yeah, this rare meteor dust has zero spirit level. Spirit level is the amount of UST, US dollars, contributed to the meteor shower. For the meteor, you crack it open, you either get dust or uh, an egg, and those have spirit level. That is the only way that any NFT will have spirit level, and they're very cryptic about the details of spirit level, but we know that it's important. It will have an effect in the gameplay down the line. When the game does go live, we don't really know the details yet, but all I know is I definitely want dust with spirit level, but this is definitely going to be useful. 
because we're going to be able to use it to modify our dragons. So if we go to the sneak peeks in the Discord, we can see the mod did say yesterday, Beach Dragon. Shout out to Beach Dragon, always being active in the community. She said, how exactly do genetic modifications on Leva Levana Dragon Babies work? Great question. Infographic explaining the science coming soon. So, she says that the quest prize dust, which is what I just showed you with the zero spirit level, is perfect for genetic modifications. I do believe when you use the dust to modify your baby dragon, the spirit level will transfer over to the dragon. But you're going to be able to customize the horns, the eyes, the wings. And then if we come up here, as you can see, this is a fire dragon with these blue-green eyes. So that's custom. But I want to show you this baby dragon. See it how is it? It has a gem on its forehead, and then this baby dragon has a gem around its neck. So you can see that every single dust has a rare gem, right? I have a few ancient dusts in my wallet. I'll show you. So if I click on one of my ancient dusts, we can see that it does have a uh, an ancient gem, Peridot. Okay, so each dust has. A, a gem with its rarity tier, so ancient, rare, common, and it also has an infusion. So there's a lot of speculation, and also it has an essence, right? So this is a wind dust, and your dragon, if I go to one of my dragon eggs as well, also has essence and an infusion. So there's a lot of speculation about what the matching of the essences and infusion will be. We don't really know yet. We don't have any details, right? So if I click on this ancient egg, we can see it has this infusion of osmium and it has wind essence. So we're not sure if, if we match the essence of the dust and the infusion together with the with the egg on the customization, what effect it will have. They haven't given us any details yet. But if we go to the marketplace and we go to the Levana Meteor dust, we go to the floor price, we can see that the floor price for common is now 0.4, 3.9. Last week it was 0 0.08 to 0 0.1. So people just keep on sweeping the floor of this common dust, which has eight spirit level on average. As you can see, spirit level eight. Most of them are eight. Okay, so this has gone up like 4x in a week. Now if we look at the rare dust, rare dust floor is 1.1, and this has gone up as well. I mean, it hasn't gone up as much. It's a better deal. The like, common is the most expensive compared to the spirit level, and then rare is a little um, better of a deal, and then ancient is really kind of the best deal with the amount you pay in spirit level. But these are the ancient dust here with zero spirit level. These are the people that won the mini game, and these are selling for like three to five Luna, right? It doesn't even have any spirit level. And then you can get one with spirit level for like five to seven maybe for a quarter bottle. So it's getting very expensive very quickly, and as more details are released on the game, it's probably just going to keep on going up in price. So if you want a, a character with a lot of good gear, well then maybe you want to get your dust now. Not financial advice, do whatever you want. I'm just giving you my speculation. But if we come to the sales tracker over here, we can take a look and we can see that people just keep on sweeping the floor of the common dust. It just keeps on going up. It's going to be probably one Luna soon. Very interesting. And people are buying the ancient dust with zero spirit level for three Luna and also 4.99. Yeah, zero spirit level. People are paying five Luna for ancient dust with zero spirit level, which is mind blowing to me. But we'll see what happens with this one. We'll see who's right and who's wrong, who got a better deal, who overpaid in the future. We don't really know. Not a lot of details out right now at all, but we can take a look and, you know, this common meteor dust is selling for half a Luna, 0.4 Luna. Last week it was. 0.1 or 0.08 and also if we take a look before I end the video I want to show you so there's you can buy the dragon eggs or the dragons if you buy the dragon eggs you you nest the the egg and you get a talisman and the talisman will be your faction in the game alright so if you want to know which faction I am in I am in the council I do have a premier council talisman so if you want to join the winning faction and play with me, have a bunch of fun, be on my team, get the green talisman. It is the most expensive, but that's because it's the rarest. This is actually the most rare NFT in the game right now. If we click on Council, right, this takes us to the entire marketplace, and then we click on Premier, we can see that there's only 28 of these right now. There's only 28 Premier talismans for the Council, and the floor price is... 399 Luna and there's only three for sale out of the 28. So this is the rarest NFT in the game. I did manage to scoop one up, but the council is the rarest faction 
as we can see there's only 760 council talismans so if we compare that to the the terrans which is the most common the terrans have 1778 so a thousand more members so clearly the council will have special powers because they're outnumbered so if you want to join and it's been said as well that the council are the mages in the game right so they use magic depends on how how into gaming you are if you really care about that but i'm going to be playing this it's going to be play to earn i think it's going to be a great opportunity to one make gains and two have a bunch of fun and three get together and play with the entire community for Levana Dragons because I do expect tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of people to be playing this game within two years time. I think Levana will be the biggest NFT set on Terra, the Terra Luna blockchain. And it's very early right now. Many people have no idea what it is. People are having a hard time putting everything together, understanding it. People are going, going about their lives. They have their day jobs and they can't be bothered keeping up with this game. So I hope this video kind of brought you up to speed a little bit. I showed you how to beat the, the mini game and I showed you the market and my kind of speculation about mashing the, the dust to the eggs for customization of the dragons. And then as well looking at the talismans. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. So in this video I showed you how to beat the Lavana Dragons first mini game, the Salem's Adventure Quest. And then I showed you a little bit about how the baby dragon customization will work my speculation around it and for beating that mini game you get the airdrop of the meteor dust with zero spirit level you can either use that and use it on your baby dragon customization or use it to craft armor down the line or you can sell it on the marketplace as you can see that was a free airdrop if you got a rare you can sell it for one luna if you got an ancient you can be selling it for three to five luna that's 200 to 300 dollars right there even more so this is a very lucrative opportunity here ever since the first nft fair mint happened back in november it's been nothing but rewarding the community and the value of these nfts going up and i personally expect this to continue it might have a lull period when the hype kind of dies down but i know that this game is the real deal the team is very very solid incubated by the best in the industry and i'm really looking forward to the leveraged trading decentralized trading protocol that will be going live very soon so a lot to look forward to with lavana hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you out with beating that mini game if you enjoyed the video make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below don't forget join the council faction if you're interested in playing this game because it will be the winning team and also, if you're new to Crypto Empire, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire, and I will see you in the next video.